So this is the first PlayStation, the PSX. And as you can see, the disc is spinning and it's trying to read the disc, but nothing's really happening. So the first thing I need to say here is be very careful with this model because it has the built-in power supply, as you can see on the left. And if you touch anything there, you're attaching your body to the mains and you're probably going to die. And that's not fun at all. So um, looking at this, uh, it's a pretty easy thing to adjust the laser. You see this little thing here, you can just use a small screwdriver and uh, you can actually adjust uh, the gain of the laser, the power of the laser. So I'm going to try that first and see if um, we get any results. I'm trying to zoom in here. You can see the little knob there. Um, this is, you, if you do this, do it very, very carefully and very, very slow, you know, just small steps. Otherwise you might end up uh, screwing up your laser and it's very hard to find your way back. And um, let's try to start a disc here. I'm using this um, little Q-tip here to um, push a button that is supposed to be pushed by the lid as it comes down. Otherwise the machine won't spin. And I can see here that nothing is happening. So something else has to be wrong here or maybe the whole laser is gone I don't know So this is a good example why you should always inspect your machine before you start to assuming things. This blue mess of wires is actually a mod chip. A mod chip is a, was a very popular way to uh, enable your PlayStation to play uh, pirate games, you know, games that you download from the internet and you just um, copy to a standard CD. You could also play games from different uh, regions like Japan or or uh, the United States if you live in Europe. It's very very sort of the way to to um, enable these functions. Now <laughs> this seems very easy because it's an easy fix because the wire actually had come loose here. So all we're going to try to do is to attach it and uh, there's another one to attach them and um, Maybe this actually works again. Who knows? In that case, it's a very boring, easy fix. But sometimes you have to have those too. So let's uh, reattach everything again and uh, hopefully we have a working PlayStation. The laser comes on here. Uh, these models also have um, another problem actually it's a design problem in the early versions uh, the laser is uh, moving back and forward on a like a sled and um, the plastic gets uh, worn down so the laser actually uh, ends up in a in a bad angle and um, it's it's going to have great difficulties to play any games so you could actually fix this by um, gluing, um, you know, the floppy disks. They had a like a thin metal uh, protection that slides from side to side. You could just cut those in in uh, small pieces and attach them to the to the unit, and it would have a new and uh, uh, durable uh, material to slide on. So I used to fix these uh, old PlayStations when they were. In demand and um, I, I always manage to make them work again somehow as you can see the laser is actually I think it's starting to load the game 
Yeah, it's actually... It's loading. So, we fixed the unit. And uh, let's see what's... Uh, you can hear the music now. Let's see what's uh, on this disc. It's like a demo disc that came with the unit. And now, of course, now it froze because um, I stopped... Um, uh, I, I stopped pushing the button, you know, to keep the unit spinning the disc, so... But um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's It was very, very cheap. Came with uh, some other units as a bonus, and uh, it's working again. So, we did our job good, and um, let's try it out.